Welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4. With the release of the new DLC, we have new releasable nations. So let's see if we can conquer the world with the little island kingdom of Rapa Nui, or better known as Easter Island. So to release this nation, we got to play it as Chile, and here she is, the kingdom of Rapa Nui. So we need to hit the crusade against imperialism focus, or go down the democratic or communist path. Now, the crusade against imperialism is all the way down here so we're not going for that because that's going to take far too long so instead we're just going to do the first focus in the democratic path which is 35 days and then we should be good to release the nation so with that focus done we will go on to occupied territories release nation and we don't want to be a puppet and we want to play as release nation so here we are, the kingdom of Rapa Nui, and we are led by a baby, Baby Valentino. Well, at least his regency council is, so he gets a nice 15% stability and 30% division defense on core territory. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't come with a focus tree. It'd been real nice if they had just a little focus tree in there. That would have been make it extra special, but never mind. We'll work with the standard one. Now, unfortunately for little baby Valentino, he's non-aligned and we need manpower. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to change party. And I think because of the manpower issue, we have 6.6k of population. So, we have a total manpower of 99 at the moment. So, we're going to go political effort to start with and get that PP. And we're going to be heading down the communist path because we want manpower. So, we do have the decision to unite Polynesia. So at least we'll get some more manpower and cores across the Pacific. But we do have to go to war with pretty much everyone to get that. Research-wise, we've got two slots, which isn't great. So we'll go basic machines and construction. We've got no sieves and no mills. This is going to be fun. We do at least have some political advisors. So we've got an educational reformer. We'll get research beat and support for non-aligned. So we can switch back back to Valentino once we've done our WC and we've also got some chief of armies and uh, army advisors and military high command which is good so that's nice at least as usual in my videos I'm just winging it so I'm not sure who I'm going after Chile's pretty weak but I think because of the new Monroe uh, national spirit that they get from America and we do not have I think we can't because US will jump in Right, we'll go collectivised ethos for... Oh, do we need the daily democracy gain? Yeah, maybe we might be better off with some industry, actually. Let's go get industrial effort one. We need some mills and some sieves. But we will go get the communist revolutionary to get the party popularity checking. And we'll also get the army offensive chief of army to get the XP going so we can at least start doing some divisions. Right, we will go collectivise ethos next. We'll get the democracy down and then we'll move down here. It's not as good as the F path. None of these are really that important once we've got past the one that boosts the communist support. So we won't go that far. We'll go concentrated industry because funny enough, we need as many slots as possible. We'll open up the political discourse ready for our referendum. And then we will go internationalism focus and get the communists going and once we're done that we'll go maybe naval because we are going to need some boats to get off of this island we do have some research so that's at least a good start we'll go and get a chief of navy then because we will need some xp to be able to design some boats to get us off this island class conflicts divide oh some communism support that's good Focus done, so I'll go get the naval effort now for three dockyards. We're doing a new destroyer, and at least with a sieve, we can now buy some guns. No, we can't because I don't have a sieve. It's taken by consumer goods. Brilliant. One sieve, and we can't even use it. Brilliant. Let's go get a destroyer set up with our new dockyard. So we want as cheap as possible with one gun, and we'll just get the ten on. Three, we don't have any steel. But we can't trade for any, so minus 20, that's not too bad. Oh, another event for more communism, that's always good and get us there quicker. I do lose rec recruitable pop, but 0.2 isn't exactly the end of the world when we have none anyway. 
and we'll do the referendum because we've got enough. So the Communist Party takes over. And look at our new flag with a little sail. The Sailors' Commune of Rapa Nui. Ooh, I do like that flag. I must be honest. That's one of the cooler ones. We've got a deal broker conscription trade and economy laws minus 25%. That is actually very good. I'll take that. But we will, what we need is this lovely portrait, which is going to get us 500 weekly manpower printed out of thin air. And we will be needing that massively. So let's get that manpower ticking. I don't have any convoys to trade. So we'll actually whip this down and we'll get two on convoys and we'll start making some convoys. Armament effort done. So we finally have a mill. So let's get some guns coming out. One per day. Good start. But we'll go and get... These two sieves, I think. So we'll go for the infrastructure and then the two sieves so we can start trading on the market. Because the Soviets will sell us stuff. Force deployed a couple of divisions out now. Well, we've got three divisions. No field commanders, which is a bit annoying, but we can promote one. So welcome aboard. They have sort of appropriate names, but not pictures by the looks of it. MIO, I want anything like these that are going to do. We'll queue them up for production efficiency gain because we are going to need it with our small industry. Got some artillery on the go. We've got another mill now, so that's good. It's starting to tick away. We are building up. We can't really build anything. Anti-air is pointless. We might as well just upgrade the port, I suppose, for supply. We literally can't build anything else, really. And we'll go and get another research slot, I think. Five divisions. If I just force apply these other five, I've now got ten. So ten is the what I'm looking for. I want these fully equipped. And then that's the full naval invasion. Missing 13,000 troops. Bit of artillery and a few thousand guns or so. We're just doing ten widths with artillery. That's what we're running. And I will actually add an engineer for the entrenchment. And we'll start getting some support equipment made. Then we need 300. So we'll take a mill onto that. I can't buy any which is a bit annoying but we will buy some soviet convoys i think ah lithuania they want to sell us support equipment so we'll take those thank you very much right we're just missing a bit of support equipment and a few artilleries and there goes the start of ww2 so i kind of need to make a decision now i've been on the fence I think we're going to have to go after the Allies and join with Germany. That's probably the best bet. So 30 days that will take. So we'll get ready and we'll do that. Equipment's looking okay. Not going to get them out. We'll just take the manpower and equipment back. And then I will get one more division just to sit on the island. Because I learned my lesson with Iceland and getting naval invaded. Germany won't give me military access. So I'm just going to have to start the war immediately. And then I'll ship my troops over. So they're going to get convoy roided to hell I think. But I can't think of another way. We can join the common turn, but that doesn't seem very wise, so we will be joining the Axis. Let's ship our troops over to Cherbourg, and let's hope they don't get convoy raided to hell and lose all our equipment. And we've got seven destroyers, let's get them over as well. Port's been built. I will build some naval forts just to help if we do get naval invaded, but I can't imagine the British have a lot around here. I actually made it to France without getting convoy raided, which is incredible. So we will set up a little naval invasion, try and take Dover and Portsmouth and the tiles next to it. We've got seven destroyers. So I'm hoping we can pinch for just a split second naval supremacy. Otherwise, it's game over. Oh, I think they've gone. Oh, they have. Our naval invasion has gone. The Royal Navy, what are you doing? And they've still got supremacy. They must have literally done something for a split second and we are off. We've landed, but I assume we're going to get convoy ready to hell in the channel. So we need to take Dover ASAP. Little force attack should help us take Dover. And with that, we'll have a nice beachhead. Yes, there we go. Beachhead in the UK. Let's get our full 10 divisions over. Oh, I don't want to lose that tile. Don't push us out, please. Portsmouth's free, so we'll just take that easily, thank you. We'll pin those ones and hopefully push this truck out and, and give us a little breathing room on the coast. Yes, there we go. Oh, and that tile's free, so we'll immediately walk in that. And London's free, so we'll just take London. London has fallen already with about five troops. Can we even encircle these troops if we move around a bit? No, Britain pretty quickly took the front line, but we've got a good beach here. The Italians are flooding in, which is always good. 
Our equipment's lacking a bit. What I'm going to do, and my manpower, is I'm going to put it all on artillery, because we've got artillery. And I'm actually going to take out one division, and we're going to add in an artillery, so we've got a bit of a punching power. And always we'll go to the Axis, and they will give us... No trains, though, but we'll take guns and artillery off you, Germany. Thank you. And... Can we get some guns as well? Yes, we can. Thank you, Italy. Ooh, 1800. Thank you very much. Navy and Legion, finally. Our forts aren't built, but yeah, that's fine. They're not going to be able to take that. We are just sat here holding. We will have to push out in a minute, but we're just waiting for the equipment to come in. Right, I think we can push a bit. So let's push. They've got absolutely no Org 2 trucks. Yes, we'll move that. Pin those in place. If we can just pin and move and grab some more land yet, yeah, we'll come down here and take Plymouth. They can't push us, which is good. I needed a bit of help, so I had to give the land to Germany, and then they flooded troops in, which is good. But we're at a bit of a standstill. I don't really have the equipment or manpower to push, and they're not. So I'm going to try a roll of the dice risky naval invasion. So if I can hit up here and push over to Liverpool, we might be able to cap them before they can redeploy. Otherwise, it's game over again. So hopefully... Oh, we've got naval supremacy. And while we're doing that, Germany have decided to push, which is good as well. So if we can land, we can't take the ports, but we might be able to take Hull. But we'll pin, move to Leeds. We can just split them up. Germany pushing as well, massively as well at this time. So 76%. This might, we might have pulled this off. We've split the north. If we can just grab Carlisle and Edinburgh. And Manchester. Germans took Manchester. Is that it? 100% we've done it. And there goes the Allies, the first faction we have destroyed. So, what I want is manpower. So, I want the Dutch East Indies. I can't take the one with the most manpower. So, we will take Sumatra. We'll also try and take as much of the Royal Navy as possible. Because that will just make our naval invasions so much easier. Plus, we're going to have to fight Japan. And we'll grab the islands that we need to make our nation and that's probably all we can afford, really, because of our warp score. We can take New Zealand, I think, as well, though, which is good, because that's part of it. And what I want is one piece of Canada. That's got a port there. 140 will take that for a land access to America, and that'll be our staging ground. And there we go. Germany's got a nice big bit. Italy's basically got all of Africa. We've got a few essential bits, which is good. Now, I think while I'm in the faction of the Axis, we're going to take Spain out because that'll be a nice, easy win for us. We'll also go for the Rapa Nui East Indy Divisions. We'll take, yeah, that looks good, 21 width. Copy that bad boy. We will take out Recon and put Artillery and we'll do Engineers. And our usual template. So we'll switch all these over. So we're using the East Indies. Manpower, not our own. 25,000 back. Excellent. And then I think we've got enough manpower. We can also train up. We've got some equipment as well now as well. So we'll get some more. And we've got this big boy navy. 177 ships. So let's merge it with our 10 destroyers from before. We'll set up our naval invasion of Spain. We'll hit up here in the corner from Germany. Obviously, we're not going to call them in as allies because we want all of Spain. So, Spain, Easter Island is here for you. Oh, I haven't got naval supremacy. There we go. Right, easy landing. We'll just push and cut off this corner. The Spanish haven't got many troops, so if we can just encircle a few, it would then be a walk in the park. Yeah, just keep walking around. They're not moving enough. We'll encircle and destroy units and there'll be nothing left. Easy peasy. And there goes Spain. Um, what to do with Spain? I think I'm just going to puppet it. And then we can use the manpower. I don't have to garrison it yet. And then we will take their navy as well. Vichy France. Oh, Vichy France is a lot bigger than I thought it was. We won't do Vichy France then. I think... We'll go for Japan, seeing as they already declared on us because we have the Dutch East Indies. So let's take Japan out. They should be pretty easy. You know what homeland Japan's like. We've got the Navy. We haven't got the range, so I might have to do a little bit of island hopping, but that's not a problem. We'll go for Iojima first, and then we can hit the home islands from there. So we've got naval supremacy. We can't reach the home isles, unfortunately. No one was at home as usual. The Japanese do not like defending their land, do they? 
And we can then get our army over there and we will go for Tokyo. And I'm hoping no one is at home there either, but we never know with the AI. Alright, nice green. We are off then. Let's get going as soon as we hit 21 days. Yeah, a couple of divisions there, but we've landed, so we'll just we've taken Tokyo. We need Yokohama for the port, but we'll keep pushing. Yeah, as usual. They haven't really updated Japan, have they, where they defend their home islands. I don't know what the Americans were worried about when they were trying to take this. They do really need to update it where Japan is harder to take. Right, you can defend there and we'll stick one division there to close the gap. And we'll move south, just surrounding any remaining units that are here. But they keep running away. Now, I've gained a load of manpower, I assume, from Japan. So we'll just queue up some units just so we hijack that manpower from them. And with one of these cities, Nagasaki's gone, is that it? Yes, there we go. Japan has fallen. So China obviously has most of the political power. But we will try and take the islands which they don't normally care about, which we'll need for our nation. And we'll take some of the fleet as well. And then we'll try and puppet as much as the home islands as possible, which we seem to be getting a lot. Yeah, so we've got majority of the home islands as a puppet. We've got a lot of the... Pacific we just need Hawaii and Guam now so we've got a lovely puppet here they've got 73 divisions we'll be taking those 73 divisions thank you because we're going after the US so we'll get one army up here and I'm hoping the US will just attack in the mountains and lose loads of equipment and be distracted meanwhile we'll take all of the other islands in the Pacific and then we can form Polynesia and get some more manpower Right, 125 days for the US, that's okay. We'll build up while we do that. I need to keep an eye on the German-Soviet war because I don't want the Soviets to capitulate, otherwise it's going to make taking out the Axis near on impossible. But they look all right, they look like they're holding. We'll also get some collaboration governments in the US so I don't have to take it all and then I can take the land and have 100% compliance and get all their manpower and factories Right, here we go. Declare war on the US then. Here we go. The big boy. This is going to be our first proper fight, I think. So we'll grab the islands as well because we've got all the naval supremacy. And at least we can then do the formable. Yeah, just as I thought, the US are trying to push into the mountains. So we'll just take all of that equipment off you. Thank you. Right, they're guarding a few islands. But we've taken Hawaii. So I think, is that enough? Yes, there we go. We can unite Polynesia. Polynesia united. And we've changed the flag. That's nowhere near as good as the old sailing boat, is it? But never mind. We've got some more manpower and... Oh, we gained one mil. I thought we'd get more than that. Okay, at least we've got manpower, though. That's good. We will start setting up our naval invasions for the US then. So we'll hit San Diego and Los Angeles. Mexico aren't in it, so they won't attack us from the side. And we'll encircle and take out the US, hopefully pretty easily. They have pushed here, but they keep funneling troops into naval invasion behind us with no port. So we're just encircling and destroying so many units that they stupidly are attacking with. We've got the port and we're not giving it up. So yeah, we'll take all your equipment. You keep losing men and equipment. Los Angeles is guarded, but nothing else is. So we'll take that and move around it. We are lacking a bit of equipment, but that's not a problem. They're not quick enough to redeploy, so we'll take San Francisco and make a nice big border, and they can weaken themselves against us. We'll keep destroying these pockets in the north as well. That's just more troops that they're losing. Another set of naval invasions. They never learn, do they? We'll take them out as well. Just funnel a few troops up here to take that one out. Right, we've got a big gap here. Our whole army is now in the US. They're guarding sort of the mountains, which is okay. We can't push. We've got collaboration governments on the go. We'll just push where they're not. We'll, we'll use these motorized to punch through. And we'll just grab all the free land. So we've got 900k. They've taken 2 mil. And there are 166 divisions now. So if we can just outmaneuver them. Really stupidly, they are guarding the Canadian border with Germany. So that's where half their troops are, I think. And hopefully, with Cleveland done, the US is done. Very nice. You shouldn't have been guarding that border the whole time. 
And look how much equipment they had. Wow, 24,000 anti-tank guns. And look at our big boy navy now. Let's get that in repair. 258 ships, 12 carriers and 22 battleships. The Axis is looking like a chonky boy. But there's the Covenant of the Mediterranean, which the Italy are in for some reason, and Turkey. So I don't know why they're not in the Axis, but that's nice for us. We'll go after them next for a big foothold in Europe. America wants a uh, collaboration government. We don't. We want all this manpower. So we've deleted all the puppet units and we'll make our own army now with American manpower. We've got three divisions. We've got more on the way as well as some tanks and marines. And then we'll hit Italy and knock out the Covenant of the Mediterranean. Meanwhile, we're getting rid of the puppets now as well. Right, Italy, you are up then. I don't know. Oh, you look like you've got a lot of troops, but we have got naval supremacy. We'll get naval support. Oh, we don't. We don't have naval supremacy. There we go. Naval supremacy. I thought we've got such a big navy. There's no way they can be beating us with the Italian navy. Behave yourselves. But we... Oh, they've got a lot on the land. We've taken Rome. We can't take the port. We'll try and push out. We've got a lot of divisions in their punchy, so we should be able to take it. Right, let's push out. We've moved all our army in. Italy being Italy is no match. They've got a lot of troops, but they seem trash. We'll take out Turkey as well, so we'll send the Marines in there as a bit of a distraction. Yeah, we landed. We'll take around the port and we'll just grab the port and surround it. And we'll funnel more troops in. About time we get some fighters out. The first fighters we ever produce are jet fighters. Skipping a whole load of technologies to get the jet fighter boys. We'll take some of our modern tanks because we've got loads of them now. And we'll get 110,000 factories on jets. Alright, we just need Turkey and Italy, so Italy is just crumbling, they're just overstacking their army, as usual, and we'll, we've will we split them in two and convoy raiding, so one of the sides will have no, oh, we literally have almost taken Italy out, and then they decide to have the civil war and take the land off us, and it's frozen, or, no, Italy's now capitulated, that's a bit harsh, we should have all of that, but okay, we've got another puppet, just now we need Turkey, so let's just start pushing out. And there we go. The Covenant of the Mediterranean is done. Unfortunately, the Soviets got most of the war score, but we'll take what we can. Right, there we go. So we got most of Italy, but the Soviets did take a lot. But we've got our puppet as well, so that's not too bad. I think next we are going to have to deal with the Axis. And Germany is looking big. Soviet Union is still there. Unfortunately, the Axis have also got China, which is a bit annoying. But we've got no choice, it's time for the Axis, so hopefully they won't be able to deploy quick enough on the Spanish border. Right, Vichy France is up, we'll declare war. They literally have got a few troops funneled to the border, so if we can just push in and knock them out quickly, that's good. The element of surprise is massive here, we've got to push in and take as much while the Germans are moving in from the Soviet border. So yeah, they are really slow at deploying here, we're pushing into France. Belgium's gone. I totally forgot they have Gibraltar, but our Marines have pushed them out and then they'll jump across to Africa to take out Vichy because I think we need a few more states. So we'll go to Algiers and we'll knock out Vichy. I think they had about 150 troops as well, so that's a lot we can get rid of. We'll need to win the air battle. So our jet fighters are doing alright. It's just numbers game. What I will do is I'll take all my fighters and I'll immediately dump them here so we gain air supremacy really quickly. Nice. And then we'll just go for this little uh, airport and we'll drop a nuke on it and destroy all your bot planes. And that's how we're going to win the air war, by bombing them on the ground. Well, we have managed to punch through. They are not quick enough moving out of the Netherlands, so I'm hoping I can push through and encircle a load of their divisions. Yes, we've got them surrounding the Netherlands. So let's cut them off and push into there. That's a nice encirclement of Axis troops. All the Germans are mainly still on the Soviet border, I think. We're not playing games anymore. Nukes are glory. We're going to nuke our way to victory now. 1950 we're in as well. There we go. There's Germany gone. Wow, they had a lot of equipment. My God. But Germany's done. Who do we need left to take the Axis out? Loads. China, Romania, Norway and Bulgaria. Brilliant. Why are they all majors? That's so annoying. 
Especially Norway. How can Norway be a major? They're a puppet. Right, we've landed in Norway anyway. That's relevant. We'll take them out easily. Annoyingly, China is going to be the pain, isn't it? I mean, our Italian puppets having a fight with uh, capitulated Germany over the British Raj, which is odd, but okay. Who have we got left? Right, there goes Romania. We just need Bulgaria. They're all out of whack, so we'll just move in and grab the victory points. Just Bulgaria and China. So once Bulgaria is gone, we've just got China to deal with. We've got two armies in the Pacific, so we'll start a beachhead and start early, and then we'll funnel the rest over later on once they're done with Bulgaria. Now, China's got a lot of divisions, but I imagine they'll be busy on the Soviet border, so this should be okay. It's just going to be a bit tedious and painful. But we've landed next to Shanghai, so we'll grab Shanghai as our port. Yeah, we've got a nice foothold. We're starting to funnel more troops in. We'll start pushing out. No idea what has gone on over here. That is disgusting. No idea. Right, we've got our cast. We'll cast them to hell. We should have green air. It's only China. They can't have planes. And if they do, they can't have jets like us. But we'll just put there. My God, look at their equipment as well. They've got zero equipment. So it should just be bowling them over tediously. They're at 9 million casualties. They've still got 200 odd divisions though, which is a bit annoying, but they must have no equipment. 73%, a little bit more. There we go. The Axis is done. And the Chinese people, what? No, don't tell me there's another China to take out. What is going on? It's the Easter Island headers versus the Common Turn. Oh, there's a. F the Axis is still about. With China, that's annoying. But our main people to deal with is the Soviets. And once they're done, it'll just be a bit of clean-up mess. So we do need convoys, but we'll make hundreds of them. And we'll have to take out the Soviets. Our industry is pumping, and our manpower is huge. So let's get a rock in. We've also got 81 nukes. So look out, Soviets. I'm getting bored of this, so we're going to nuke you to hell. At least we can push. Whoa, that has frozen the game as they've called in half of the world into this war. We've got Soviets, Norway, the Raj, France, Australia and Thailand. Brilliant. This is going to be such brilliant fun, isn't it? Right, let's get Australia on the go. We'll get a naval invasion down here. They'll have no troops, will they? So we'll knock them out and then we'll go into Thailand with this army, I think. They're actually contesting the air. I thought I'd have all of it. But we have got jets, and I don't think they do, so we're, yeah, we're winning. We are winning. It'll just take a little bit longer. We'll do the old nuking some air bases in a second. But we're getting some encirclements. We'll just slowly grind them down. We've got loads of manpower, so it's fine. We can take here. Yeah, another encirclement. You know what the Soviets are like with encirclements. They love being encircled. Right, we've landed in Australia. Let's just start pushing out. There's one division here by the looks of it, so good luck. Yeah, I told you we're not messing around. Look for the bright sun, Soviet. Look for the bright suns. More nuking the line. We're just going to nuke our way to Moscow. And they are losing planes in the process. Just need some more air supremacy. Speaking of nuking our way to Moscow, why don't we just nuke Moscow as well for the lols. There we go. Look out, Stalin. Right, Australia is gone. Another one bites the dust. We'll just take out those last couple of divisions there. And we'll go for the Raj and push up Malaya to Thailand as well. Uh, it made a weird noise. I think that was a collaboration government. Did that tip me over and they've capitulated? Or has my game melted the computer and froze? No, the Soviets have gone. 600,000 equipment we got from them. But the Soviets are gone. We've just got some cleaning up to do now of the common turn. So we'll knock Finland out and then we've got to go Norway again, which is rather irritating. The, Ra the Soviet Raj is on its way out, which is good. We're pushing up to... There we go. There's the Raj gone. We just need this tiny... It's not even this huge Burma that needs to go. It's this tiny Thailand. 
Why on earth is that a major? Right, we've just got Norway left now. If we can just take... Is that it? Yes. The common turn is done. The last big faction is done. We're the only ones here, so we'll take it all. The game thinks I've won and have finished, but wrong you are. We will be continuing game. Thank you very much. We've got 430 states, so we are looking pretty good. We are looking pretty chonky. We are just on cleanup work now, so we've got... A little bit of the Covenant of the Mediterranean, which is Portugal, which is good, which means we can get all the other faction, other nations to join that faction. We'll take... So Germany is already capitulated. We just need to knock out the Chinese People Republic for the remainder of the Axis. I really stupidly start this war before my troops are in position, but that's fine. They're making their way across Siberia. We're just going to nuke our way here. We've got so many nukes. We're not messing around China in these mountains. And there goes the Axis for a second time. And um, we'll just take all of your land, thank you. And goodbye to Germany once and for all. Right, we are finally here. We have got Ireland to knock out. That's it. Everyone else is either minor or has capitulated. So, naval invasion to end the game. We'll just knock them out quickly. Yeah, no match for us. There we go, capitulated. And with that, please say it's everyone. We are looking like it's everyone. Open diplomacy goes to us. That means we're the only one. The socialist unit of the oceanic people is victorious. Uh, so I did add the advisor and ticked all the way over to non-aligned, but I haven't got an option for it, so bear with. There we go, the United Kingdom of Polynesia... Valentino is back. However, this is, what, 21 years later, so he probably shouldn't be a baby anymore. However, he is a baby still, and he owns the world. World Conquest. I think this is the first World Conquest on the channel, actually, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I will not be doing another World Conquest anytime soon, but uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more, and thanks for watching. Peace out.